Hello, hello. Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, the roof for our ranch in SketchUp. If you look on the render, uh, we have uh, three tiers here, one, two, three, uh, all of which are triangles, uh, which means that we can just draw them on the side, extrude it back. Uh, a little tricky with this middle one here, because as you can see, it's like comes off the same angle. Uh, both of uh, the front two, though, cover the porch. Back is completely flat, while most of the uh, craziness is happening in the front. All right, so what I did here in SketchUp is I pretty much started a new drawing. I started a new drawing just to show an example of if things are really bogging things down and things really aren't working for you, go ahead and start a new one. Then it will be clear near, cleaner and it won't have as much stuff that has to load. Fine. All right, so I just drew the foundation exterior wall again and I added the tag roof. So with this tag here now, I am going to begin. All right, so scenes here, right? I'm gonna snap uh, to my side view completely. I have this bottom one open, right? The parallel projection. I'm gonna zoom in a touch and I'm gonna draw a line straight up, just like we did for the shack. Um, I'm gonna go up 10 feet. And while saying this, I'm remembering that there was one other thing I wanted to do first. So hold on a second. Before we continue with that, I wanna draw a ceiling here. So I'm just gonna drag a rectangle from endpoint to Endpoint. I just want to do that real quick. Cap this off, have this on the roof tag for when we uh, do a section of using stuff, we have a ceiling. All right, back to what I was doing over here. I have that line straight up. I want to line down to the corner here. I want to line down to the corner here. All right, so now we have a closed shape. We can get rid of this line in the middle, and now we can press pull this through. So we want to go all the way across to the other side. Click. Um, sometimes I notice this makes a shell instead of, um, that's not the right button, instead of actually carrying this through as a solid shape. If it does do that, just go ahead and draw like another line along the base on the open side, and normally that'll close it off for you. If it doesn't, uh, try again. All right, but look at that. We already have one of the roofs kind of already there, kind of already. All right, what we do want to happen though is uh, we got to start doing some of this trim and stuff. So if you look on the side, there's an overhang, overhang, a lot of other stuff going on with each uh, tier of the roof, and there's like a thickness to it, right? So I'm going to offset now, not offset, I guess press pull those uh, sides of the roof right here, uh, distance. So I'm going to say that each one of these sides, each of those thickness is going to be six inches. So I click, I'm going to pull this up, six, enter, rotate around, pull this guy up, six, enter. All right, we're getting somewhere, getting somewhere. But look at this funny shape we have here. So let's start capping this off and cleaning it up. So now look, that is our trim part. This will be our actual roof part, but we have this funny uh, opening on the top. To fix that, we're gonna extend a line up. You'll see that's pink. We definitely want it to be pink. That means you're extending the line and extending the line up. Uh, e for eraser. Click, click, spacebar. Now we have to press pull that guy back all the way through. All right, so if I press pull this shape, shift, middle mouse wheel, go all the way over to there. All right, does that look good? Yes, it does. Let's uh, go ahead and draw the lines on this side here. Carry this down. Carry that down. Perfect, perfect. E for eraser, we can start cleaning up some of our lines. We don't need this guy on the top either, right? And then on the other side, same thing. Little guys up top, perfect, perfect. And now let's do a little of uh, the overhangs. So the overhangs, I want uh, a foot on all sides. So I'm gonna make this one foot, enter. I'm gonna go around to the other side. This guy, one foot, enter. And you'll notice um, on the actual um, render here, we actually overhang on the fronts as well. So I'm gonna take this guy, one foot, enter. That guy, one foot, enter. All right, so now whoa, we're going all the way around on all the sides, and look at that. We pretty much have one third of our roofs done. Only thing is that was the easy one. The next two are a little bit trickier. Uh, we'll get through it though. So we could right now, might as well. I'm gonna erase this line here. And look at that, it carries our roof, or our exterior walls up. Perfect, perfect, this one might do the same. No, yeah, it does that, of course. So SketchUp has like an inside face, outside face of uh, solid objects, I don't know why, but I'm gonna just take the eyedropper under the paint bucket, 
click on my siding, it turns into a paved bucket and then dump it on there. And now look, we have uh, the siding going all the way around. All right, one third of our roofs are in. I'm gonna close this material, go isometric. And now let's get the next one. So the next one, if you look on our render, that's not the button, that's the button. If you look on our render, is in line with the next one, but it sticks out a little bit and it covers the porch entirely, right? So it's the full width of the porch while the small triangle in the front is only like half of it. And uh, it's in the same line as the triangle we just drew. All right, so some tricky stuff is gonna happen here. I don't exactly love how SketchUp does this, but we're gonna do it. All right, so pencil line, I'm gonna go off of my front porch. I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna go up uh, the 10 feet because that's the same height of our floor or ceiling, 10 feet. And I'm gonna start moving this in line with my roof. Now, if I mouse over this edge of the roof and start moving back up, it should snap to parallel. I'm just gonna click wherever I may be, I'm clicking and extend that line. That length, first length doesn't matter. We just wanna go past this point here, All right? And I'm gonna do this line and we still want pink because that means we're carrying the line. And now it may look like we have this in the same plane, right? I snapped to my side view, but we're actually not. Look at that. So we have some fun stuff to get this line transferred over to here so that we actually have that um, roof line parallel. All right, so a couple ways that I found to do it, they're not, none of which are great. Um, let me try this one this time. I'm gonna look straight down on this object. And if I click the pencil, it should snap in line, right? And now if I rotate around, I'm still in line. I'm gonna go all the way down to on edge. It needs to be blue, that's straight, and we wanna see the words on edge. That means I'm now touching that roof line. A lot of stuff just happened there, right? Quickly, again, I was top. I clicked on this point here, it snapped, it showed me an extension line from there. And then I rotated a little bit, center mouse wheel, and I dragged it down, had a blue line showing that I was in the axes, and I clicked on that point, all right? Um, but we still need to transfer this uh, line over. So if I now go from this point and I mouse over this guy, pink parallel till on edge, click, all right? Pink is showing, it kind of does these automatic snap settings that we're kind of familiar with with AutoCAD but this is like doing it with line types in the three dimensional void space. But uh, I think we got it there. All right, first try, got it. Carry the line straight down, pink for extension of parallel. So now when I draw a line, I'm gonna draw it along this surface. You're gonna have to rotate around till we get that pink again and it's on edge. We want it to click there. I think that's gonna be above this. I think I might want it to go further, but if I click there and then go straight across on edge, it looks above, yeah, whoops, but it's parallel, right? Yeah, I'm gonna live with that. It's fine that I'm above because we're gonna extend this um, over anyway, right? Oh, we're gonna go down. I think I want this to go, eh, leaving it, leaving it, leaving it. Uh, should have probably done that before we pulled that one foot out. It's fine, it's fine, all right? So now we need to clean this up so that we can actually uh, extend what we need to. So we don't need this line anymore. We don't need that line and we don't need this whole section, right? This whole triangle up here is not part of our roof section. There's our shape that we're gonna press pull for our roof all the way through. All right, so let's press pull that guy all the way through, but how far do we go? We need to go to our other point of our porch. So I'm gonna click this guy on blue line straight, 10 feet, enter, space bar to get out, press pull. Is press pull the P button? Yes, it is. All right, so E is eraser, P is press pull, L is line, space bar to get back to normal, and I'm gonna go all the way until I get to that endpoint. Space bar to get back. Of course, endpoint stays. I don't know why. All right, so yes, that roof underneath is there. It's okay. I'm getting over it. Uh, e, getting rid of that. So now we still need to put our trim on this guy, right? And the six inch up. We can actually erase that line. Did that make that a shell? Okay. Control Z, don't erase that line. Just leave it. Oh, let's erase this line. Yeah, get rid of that. And now if I erase this, it's gonna be okay. Never mind. leave it, leave it, leave it. Um, let's get the press pull, P, this guy up six inches, right? Six, enter. But now this is in reverse of what we want from before, right? Because I don't wanna press pull this guy out because then it'll go past my back uh, face. 
So look what we're going to do here. I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to connect this. And instead of this side going up six inches, I want to actually go down six inches. So I'm going to click on the edge here. I want a perpendicular point. So it's pink. Again, pink, they're used for everything. And I'm going to type in six, enter. And then if I start carrying this over, is it going to give me parallel with uh, this line on edge? Pink. Once before it gave me that, but let's not go crazy trying to get it. Just pick another point in this line, midpoint, fine. Six as well. So now when I connect this, I can now get the pink extension line. Ooh, ah. Pink extension line. Ooh, ah. All right? So now we have that in line. So now when I do, oh, I need to carry that up. Uh, this one all the way to the peak. A lot of pink is fine. We actually need to carry this line over so that we can get this on the other side. Uh, it's red means it's on the face, it's on edge. That's what we want. It may have just looked like it wasn't the same shape, but it was. All right, so now over here, oh, let's rotate around to here. Uh, we have the point from uh, here to here. All right, drew that line. And then we need this point on face parallel with that guy. Is it going to give it to me and make me do it? There it is. Pink parallel, oh, pink parallel on face. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so now, why does that not look right? No, because this point has to go up. There you go. Now it looks right. Oh, did I send the wrong line back? <laughs> there you go. Now I should have things to erase. There you go. Uh, so we had the point that I needed to carry that line up. So we had something to erase. So now a lot of erasing is going to happen in... A little bit of confusion there. How can I better explain this? I want this to go six inches down. This is go six inches. Or this face was six inches up. The other face was six inches uh, down. And now we can erase this whole triangle up here. Erase these guys in here. Now we have the uh, siding. Whoa. Whoa. We can erase that line now that I've been erasing everything across. And if I go around to the other side, that top triangle is already gone. And then there's that. All right. That was a mess. I understand. Pause, rewind, look at what I did again. Now is it going to let me erase that line? It's still not going to let me erase it. Last time I drew this, it let me erase it. SketchUp is fun. Um, look at what I did again. It was a bunch of lines. Remember, the main thing was I had that shape from before. I press pulled that up six inches for our trim. But I needed the other one to go in six inches. So I just drew those little lines and I just did a lot of connecting so that we have a clean point. All right, so now I can press pull this out uh, one foot, enter, this face down one foot, enter, and then around on this side, this guy out uh, one foot, enter. Now we have the overhang. All right, yes, that meets there. No, that's not how I want that to look exactly. I don't know why it came out that way this time. Probably has something to do with how I extended that over, but we're getting there. Next, we just need the triangle in the front, right? So if I'm looking at the house straight on, we're only missing our front uh, triangle here. And you'll notice this is not covering the whole porch. This guy here covered the whole porch and we have the overhang. We did that. We're missing this guy. Height up, mm, midpoint, sure. So if I actually go back to SketchUp. I draw a line. This is on the overhang already, but I'm going to go midpoint. I'm going to go straight up. Uh, I'm going to go straight up six feet. Why not? And then you should get midpoints now. Yeah, look, midpoint. Wait for it. Midpoint. Got it. First try. E erase. Um, last time I tried this, this didn't press pull correctly. This time it's going to, right? <laughs> so it makes this shell. I can't exactly explain why or how to really fix it. Is it going to work this time? Yeah, see what happened? If you get a shell, sometimes it happens, sometimes it won't. But I made a shell and then I just closed off the front again so I had a closed shape and now it like capped it off as a solid object for me. Perfect. So press pull again. This guy up uh, six inches. This guy up six inches where you have to do the funny thing in the, again in the front, but we have a line there to there there to there and then uh, look at this straight on so we can draw this pink line perfect 
pink line perfect spacebar e erase 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 zoom out orbit a second oh that's fun i shouldn't have erased yet my bad and now we press pull this back don't erase it yet snap back to there there you go now we can erase things why are things different shades and different colors um it's automatically assuming weird things things that probably aren't exactly correct but it's okay did that go through all the way oh, i didn't press pull that enough did i into the roof into the roof other side it went back good sketch up all right uh that went off the six inches and then this goes out one foot enter and then these guys down here one foot enter we can clean that up i'm not overly concerned about that at this exact moment in time i just want you guys to get to this point yeah there's a lot of funniness happening probably need to adjust some things press pull that back press pull that over but we have overhangs and all that so we'll clean this up at a later date i'm perfectly fine with it like this actually you know what just leave it like that can we press pull just to a point and it doesn't yell at us no it's always going to yell at us it's sketch up kind of want it to look like that close one more try one more try it's not going to like be that a snap setting to there of course not why would it be nice to us there i'm eyeballing it look straight over there close enough other one press pulling this down till the base is in line with the other base something happened with my line connecting here to here never happened to me before when i drew this but that's what we got right now uh last thing you need to do is make it purdy materials uh search roofing i like these shingles roofing 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 don't forget the back and then you need um siding go back uh that's siding oops i forgot roof up there that's siding that's siding why isn't that white let's just go to colors colors white white trim white trim white trim and I forgot some roof, didn't I? Yeah. There you go. There is our roof. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. It may take you a couple tries. If things are going wrong, I suggest more than anything to just try it again. But uh, we did it. Good work, team. It doesn't look too bad. Right? If I look at this front on, and then I go over here. Look at that. Same thing sort of all right uh good luck have fun